हरे कृष्णा लिविंग फॉर द मूमेंट इज अ प्रिस्क्रिप्शन फॉर के ऑस एट बेस्ट एंड कैलामिटी एट वर्स्ट सम पीपल से जस्ट एंजॉय नाउ नाउ द नाउ इज ऑल दैट वी हैव लिव फॉर द मूमेंट नाउ येस वी वॉन्ट टू लिव इन द मूमेंट दैट मीन्स यू वॉन्ट टू लिव इन द प्रेजेंट not uh, not living in the past lamenting about it or worrying about the future but we can't live for the moment because if we live for the moment that means we live for whatever feels good in the present moment and living like that is a prescription for chaos and that's the best result and the worst can be calamity how is that imagine somebody is driving on a road and while they are driving if they suddenly see a attractive looking hotel on the right and they say i'll turn immediately now if they turn uh, people who are driving behind them or people who are driving on the road opposite uh, they will be inconvenient they'll have to ram on their brakes and if everybody started taking impulsive turns like this then the traffic would be chaos and that's the best result if the person behind them is driving very fast then they might just ram into this person who's turned and there could be a fatal accident that would be a calamity so we all are going through life and if we start living for the moment that means we start doing whatever feels good right now without thinking about the future or the past then we will invite chaos in our life say imagine in a relationship somebody is in a committed relationship but suddenly they find some really who looks attractive and they immediately have an affair with that person and then the family will break apart by that and if people started acting on the baser impulses somebody goes into a shop and it feels good to them and they just something looks good to them and they shoplift it that would lead to again chaos so for us we need to have a higher purpose than living for the moment we have to live for something bigger than the moment what feels good in the now is rarely good beyond the now and thus we want to be aware of the now and we want to act in the now so that we have we experience the now fully but we also prepare ourselves to experience something uh, experience the future more brightly and that's this long term vision of life comes when we see that we are part of a bigger cycle the bhagavad gita says in 3.16 evam pravartitam chakram nanu vartayati hayah अघायुरेन्द्रिया रामो मोघम पार्थ स जीवते इट सेज दैट इफ दैट वी आर मेन टू पार्टिसिपेट इन अ हायर साइकल वेर वी डू आवर पार्ट थ्रू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन दैट वी वॉट एवर गॉड गिवन टैलेंट्स वी हैव वॉट एवर रिसोर्सेज वी हैव वी यूज दैम रिस्पॉन्सिबली एंड डिलीजेंटली टू मेक अ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड वेन वी मेक अ कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन to the universe to the divine in this mood of commitment then in return we get satisfaction we get fulfillment we get illumination we get realization but if we don't participate in this cosmic cycle then what happens aghayur indriya ramo that we live for the pleasure of our senses we do terrible activities and mogham partha sa jeevati our life goes in vain so living for the moment is a recipe as a recipe for chaos or calamity whereas living for uh, the for the divine who is the lord of the moment the present moment the past moments and the future moments living in a mood of loving service and contribution is the way is the way to satisfaction to realization and ultimately to liberation thank you hare krishna